Good morning, everyone, and welcome to The Morning Show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. How are you today? I don't know yet. I think you're tired because uh, you were at a um, at Bonnaroo. I was at Bonnaroo, and the air quality was very low where I was. No, we went to Pine Knob. Ah, how you was know, it? It was good. I did not, uh, believe it or not, I did not drink or smoke or sing, and I still have a raspy voice. Wow. I think all of us did from the uh, air quality. Uh, it, was, it was a fun time. Looks like uh, little Andrew and little Lucas there enjoying their uh, first concert. Yeah. So they didn't even ask what the smell was. They were they did well. They were good. <laughs> no, they're good. These kids know what's oh, going yeah, on. Oh, yeah. I wondered what kids. the uh, marijuana situation would be now that it's legal. But it's, it, you can't really... it's actually not as bad as it was when it was illegal, really? in my opinion. Huh. So, yeah, they had a good time. Huh. No, the parking lot was fine. And we didn't really tailgate. Mm -hmm. um, that much we just got the kids in there there uh, were a lot of kids yeah and you sent me some photos uh during the concert of children sleeping no those on. weren't children those were adults oh. <laughs> right in front of me uh there was someone and they were under a blanket like they had fallen ill and it wasn't like alcohol related either of them hmm. yeah people were dropping like flies maybe they drank the water oh i don't think they uh drank the water they drank the uh a Bud Light was there. I know you've been concerned about the Bud Light. Bud Light was there, mm -hmm. but uh, the favorite was the Bud Light Margarita. Oh, fun. Yeah, it was very fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, 56 degrees. Our humidity is at 100%. We have an air quality alert for all of uh, South Central Lower Michigan. And for the city of Jackson and Blackman Township, we have a boil water advisory. So. Stay in bed today. <laughs> These are like the uh, alerts you get uh, when you live in Texas. Yeah. That's exactly what's mm -hmm. happening. It's actually worse in Texas right now. Uh, the heat is a big, 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 big problem. Air but quality, our air quality is the worst it's ever been. The worst. In fact, air quality here is the worst in the world, uh, well, except for Dubai. We are number two for worst air quality in the entire world right now that doesn't seem right well it isn't right i mean it's not something that's a force i fires. was not uh planning on that happening while i lived here in this country <laughs> <laughs> i think canada is very embarrassed that they should be yeah i think that if, if it was the united states blowing all the smoke to mexico yeah. we would not be embarrassed you know who it's like, i have a friend and it's like that they have a tree right with mm -hmm. the leaves yeah. and it's it's even so bad that the the neighbor they paid for only their half of the tree to be trimmed really yeah wow so it's kind of the very similar to the situation we're dealing with with the smoke mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion so no it just looks like it's 9 30 at night out at all times mm -hmm. well it's um going to be that way for most of today widespread haze and widespread smoke today but by friday it should be all blowed over to the east coast Hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. But it can be very unhealthy to be out um, in this uh, smoke. Let's pull up the uh, the uh, smog cam, the smoke cam. Look at that. <coughs> and wow. this is what normally is uh, would be a clear 80 degree sunshiny day. Mm -hmm. Well, the sun is out. You just can't see it. There's not a lot of traffic right now. Um, no, pretty quiet. Pretty yeah. quiet day downtown. Actually, with the 4th of July holiday, it people is. are starting to uh, disappear. Biggest travel weekend for the 4th of July ever is I was gonna expected. I'm uh, sorry to interrupt you for the yeah. third time. Um, <laughs> it's This is also the biggest, this will be the biggest travel weekend in the history of the world. Really? I think. Wow. How could it not be? Last, last 4th of July, we expected more travelers in the history of the world. So mm -hmm. if we're expecting more, more today. Flights have been canceled, though. 20,000 flights have already been canceled Monday and Tuesday, and they s expect more today. So mm -hmm. hopefully you uh, aren't one of those travelers that gets stranded. The big problem with that is all the flights are full to begin with. So mm -hmm. as soon as the flight gets canceled, uh, there's not a next flight that people can take because yeah. it's full. And people are waiting four and five days to get to their destination or mm -hmm. to get back home. I got some people coming back from out of town um, Thursday and Friday, and I don't think they realized that they were 
actually traveling on the 4th of July weekend, but they will be traveling back home, mm. and uh, hopefully uh, they have smooth sailing. Storms and shortages within the FAA, the controller situation oh. is, uh, is bad. They don't have enough people. So. I would fly in, in and out of only major airports uh, if I was traveling. Even then. Well, that's just, that would be the, uh, the safest bet. Mm -hmm. Today's show is brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family open, family open and operated. They pride themselves on offering high quality name brand furniture at affordable prices. Thank you to Vermeulen's. We have a uh, boil water advisory for the city of Jackson and Blackman Township. Uh, there was recently a malfunction at the water treatment plant that could have potentially impacted water quality. Now the city doesn't think um, there's any uh, problem, but they have to put out this alert anyway because of the malfunction. They did some testing uh, yesterday. They didn't find any bacteria in the water, hmm. but um, they just have to uh, make that announcement. And I think people are, uh, some people are, oh, whatever, and other people are setting up a lab in their <laughs> kitchen. So um, I would err on the safe side. Of setting up a lab in Bo the kitchen? Bo yes, boil your, your water, use bottled water to brush your teeth. Um, yeah, be careful. And we'll know um, Thursday we will have a new advisory. I think they, they won't test till Thursday. A couple things canceled. Uh, Nixon Pool will be closed today, and a lot, uh, and pretty much any uh, outdoor youth uh, sports activity through the Jackson Parks and Rec. So that's for the air quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got some good news today. Uh, the Biden administration and Senators uh, Peters and Stabenow announced that. Um, one of the 162 infrastructure projects in the United States is going to Jackson. We will be getting $6.8 million for the Martin Luther King Corridor Reimagined Project here hmm. in Jackson. It will involve reconstructing MLK Jr. Drive from uh, South Street to Morrell, where the new uh, roundabout is. Is this, is this new money? New money. Oh, wow. Brand new. This is breaking news. They will be adding parking lanes, replacing sidewalks, adding a 10-foot shared use path, and it's gonna be uh, beautiful. So it'll be, I don't know when it will start. We just got the announcement today. There's already uh, $4 million uh, ready to spend mm -hmm. for the MLK corridor yep. project. So that's great, great news yep. uh, for that, planting, that area. Stormwater infrastructure, uh, street lights. Yeah, so it's all part of the city's plan. Uh, to start working out. And there are some plans uh, for the east side, East Michigan Avenue. There is some private investment that is uh, currently um, underway that will be exciting news um, still to come. So some great things are happening here in our uh, beautiful, beautiful community. Wonderful. <laughs> so we've got um, a couple of other uh, things. You know, the um, legislature, <laughs> Alcohol in stadiums. Yeah, that's going, right? It's going. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's going. Um, this I was, fall. This fall. Yep, it's going to happen. I was watching drivers yesterday as I was thinking about the distracted driving laws. Mm -hmm. That's a problem. It's going to be a big problem. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. See how it, uh, how it goes. I'm, I'm anxiously awaiting seeing how it goes. Well, there, I, I mean, everyone has got their phone in their hand. Lieutenant Tedrick Gibbs who was here yesterday. He said that they are going to have extra patrols out this weekend mm -hmm. and they are going to be looking for the people not following mm -hmm. the new hands-free law. I live near Tedrick and sometimes <laughs> when he passes me and I'm on my phone, I throw it in the back seat real yeah. quick. But they, they see you do that. He sees you. Mm -hmm. So no, please be careful, uh, especially in the summer when there's so many people out walking around riding bikes and uh, yeah, it's dangerous out there. Uh, you can be inside today for the Michigan Theater uh, movies. Uh, three movies today. We've got Super Mario Brothers at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. And that's the Kiwanis Summer Kids movies continuing today and tomorrow. And then tonight, the Lumen Christi Robotics team, the Flux Capacitors, mm -hmm. are hosting a, a robotics movie night where they will be uh, presenting the Disney Pixar film, WALL-E. 
And mm -hmm. for $10 you get in, you get popped and popcorn, the whole thing, all packaged. Yeah. Did you, you, have you seen that movie? No. Really? Yeah. It's like, Brandon, do you remember the movie Fantasia when we were little? Where uh, there's no talking. Short Circuit, though. He looks just like J5, You're Alive, and Short Circuit, the movie. Exactly like Wally. Really? Yes. Well, they probably use... Uh, they maybe use similar scaps. Yeah. Uh, this is actually, uh, believe it or not, this is a romance film. Really? Oh, yeah. So, uh, a robot falls in love? Well, yes, yes. A human? This is one of the first movies Ella and I went and saw, and uh, yeah, we, we enjoyed it. No, it's a very cool movie. The thing did over $580 million at the box office. It's so crazy. it's going to be... Yeah. Uh, and the air quality inside the Michigan Theater is good. Our show today is brought to you by Home Study of Greater Jackson. Give them a call for all of those eyesores in your home that you need repaired before company comes over for the 4th of July holiday. It might be too late, but give them a call today. I know you have a lot of work to be done at your house. Home Study will take care of you. Hmm. We, um, we're planning on... Uh, driving on Blackstone Street yesterday because it was supposed to be reopened, but it wasn't. No. Uh, Jackson Street was still open, it was supposed to be closed, so maybe today that um, switch will occur. There's We're, been a few little closings. Yeah. Um, I had to cut through the JADA parking lot to get here. <laughs> so there's a few, <laughs> few street mm -hmm. closures. Mm -hmm. uh, starting on July 17th, uh, you could uh, live in the Barbie Dream House. Yes. Well, that'd be nice. Uh -huh. uh, the Barbie Dream House, it's a real oh, house. Gosh, in, that's gorgeous. In, guess where? California. Malibu, Malibu, California. Mm. Starting on July 17th, you can request to book Ken's room in Barbie's Dream House at Airbnb. And they're uh, allowing two individual one night stays accommodating two guests each night, and you get to party at the Hot Pink Mansion in Malibu, uh, paid for by Ken himself. Huh. Uh, I guess that would be Ryan Gosling. And this is a real house, a real full-size house built to replicate the Barbie Dream House, and it's an individual, a private individual owns it. And I don't know, he's got a lot of money. He Must said, be. So. Must have a lot of money to do something like uh, that. Good God. It's a real house. That's a live, not live, but a real, a real house. Are you sure Mattel doesn't own it? No, it's, everything's real. It's, but the, uh, the, the uh, burgers on, on the grill, they're plastic. Oh. Yes. Uh, did you hear um, about Ryan Seacrest? Yes, as I predicted more than a week ago, <sighs> You did predict it. He's the new host of The Wheel, and he announced on Instagram. Um, I don't know. I guess it's a fine job for him. I think it's a good job for him. Yeah. Do you yeah, think Vanna will stay? Do you think Vanna will stay? Vanna uh, actually has signed a contract for one more year, so she'll be there for the first, at least the first I year. I think Ryan and, and Vanna will actually do pretty well together. I do too. I think Ryan yeah. works pretty well with everybody. At least it appears... Um, on screen. Did you know Vanna was on The Price is Right? And that's where she was first that's discovered? Yeah. yeah. How about that? And did you know The Price is Right? Uh, they, uh, they have left the Bob Barker studio. Really? Yes. The Price is Right packed up and left the Bob Barker studio at Television City because um, they're renovating the whole complex. Mm. CBS doesn't even own Television City anymore. They sold it for billions and they've been renting it. So now they're going to Glendale, a mm. brand new studio for The Price is Right, after 50 whatever many years. Yeah, I don't like Drew Carey as the host, and I love watching the old Price is Rights. Mm -hmm. Which you can. Uh, there's a Bob Barker Price is Right channel. There is. Which there we is. watched on our vacation nonstop. That's right. Bob mm -hmm. Barker is, uh, he's the best. He's irreplaceable. I agree. I agree. Just like Steve Harvey in Family Feud. <laughs> Although he is like the fifth host that show has had. Uh, I've never been a fan of Steve Harvey. Really? Yeah. I've always thought he was very funny. The old Family Feud uh, with Richard Dawson was... Yeah, but he was a little bit too handsy with the contestants, so they had to let him. You cannot be as handsy as you... Not in these days. Not in really no. any days. <laughs> no. But for sure, not in these days. 
Uh, a teen flying a drone is responsible for uh, saving the lives of two people. This is unbelievable. Uh, floodwaters in Colorado washed away uh, a lot of land. The car went into a sinkhole, tipped upside down. Oh my God! And don't, no one knew it. I mean, as you're walking around, you can't see. You, you know, it's below ground. And so he's teens flying the drone. Josh Logue, 18 year old. Wow. He noticed a dark spot on a road by the foot of a bridge, and he called the police. And the SUV contained two people trapped inside: a 66 year old man and a 61 year old woman, in a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Wow. And the the kid flying a drone saw it that, and called the police, and they had saved their lives. Where was this? Colorado. Wow. Yes. How about that? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Brighton, Colorado, hmm. a suburb north of Denver. Hmm. You so, don't see that every day. So drones are good. They are very good. Very mm -hmm. good. The uh, next and last concert of the Jackson College Summer Concert Series is Thursday at, interesting time, 11.55 a.m. Really? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so uh, it's the uh, marching band and the uh, band camp. They're going to be doing their uh, performance. Very good. And that is June 29th, 11.55 a.m. You better not be late. Mm -hmm. The Summer Concert Series in Jackson, presented by Jackson College. They do a great job. Wonderful uh, on-campus events. Should be a great night. Mm -hmm. uh, who's on the show today? We have a wonderful show lined up. We're going to get things started with Dan Macknick from Willis & Macknick Financial Services right after this.